Good morning, everybody. Coach Derek with Derek Nicholson Fitness. It is January 8th, 2013. Just finished day 26 of Les Mills Combat. Um, after today's workout, I have officially logged 380 workouts in the uh, Team Beachbody Super Gym. Uh, what that means is I've pushed play and actually completed my workout while it was tracking, rather than going back and adding a uh, completed workout, which I've done that several times too. But um, pretty stoked about that. Really getting my numbers up in the gym, just showing that you know I'm pushing play and I'm getting there every day. Um, today was. Cardio 60 Extreme Cardio Fighter again, and you know I gotta say it's one of my favorite workouts that we do with uh, with combat. As I mentioned last time, you know this one is equivalent to about 1,700 crunches um, if you you know engage your core right the whole time. Um, obviously, especially if you're starting out, I know there's times where I feel I'm not quite engaging it like I need to, so I wouldn't be surprised you know if I'm not getting that full you know 1,700. Um, crunches equivalency that that they say uh, they had shown in the studies at Penn State um, I'm really 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 starting to notice changes um, now with the program you know being almost a month into it you know 26 days within the first week week and a half I really noticed my thighs um, changing uh, like I said with everything you do with the uh, lunges and squats and jumps and whatnot you're extremely sore but now the soreness has gone away it still burns during the workouts but I really noticed some changes there a little bit kind of along my ribs getting more defined I'm still working on the gut but starting to see like the top two abs pop through a little bit more um, which I've never really had that and really starting to you know get the rest and I'm noticing a lot I don't know if you can really see in the videos or the picture here but my triceps are getting more defined my shoulders and traps as well. Um, if you can see all that there, um, like I said, really noticing changes and the uh, results in recovery. This is the first time that I've actually used it consistently. I had it a while ago. I got it as a gift uh, for Christmas one year, but I only did, you know, maybe one or two servings a week, if that. Um, it was one of those things as a gift. You know, I wanted it to last. So I didn't use it every day. Um, it is a little bit higher on the uh, the price tag. You know, it's about $40. Um, uh, I believe it's right at $40, you know, customer price. Um, as a coach, you do get it a little bit cheaper. Um, you do get a discount. And there are two ways of saving on discounts. So, you know, if you're interested in that, let me know. But, like I said, I've, I've done several programs and this is actually the first time that I've really used results in recovery and I can really tell that it's given me more of the results that I'm looking for you know quicker I'm sure you know I, it, it takes about you know four weeks before you start noticing and you know like I said it's almost a month um, so I'm finally starting to notice some of the changes my wife is noticing as well um, and it takes roughly about eight weeks for you know your family members and really close friends to start seeing your changes. And it takes at least 12 weeks, if not more, for people like you watching my transformation. It's going to take almost a full three months, if not a little bit longer, for you guys to start noticing the changes on me. So keep that in mind if you're starting your transformation story. Um, you know, you might start seeing it sooner, but it's going to take you know roughly three months for other people you know online if you're posting pictures on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube videos you know it's gonna take longer for other people to see the changes um, so just stay consistent uh, you know I'm really 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 loving this program like I said the results and recovery has really helped me out tremendously so I'm, I'm very happy with that and like I said I'm, I'm just feeling my strength really build up um, Usually on Combat 60, I'll do at the very end, you do um, kind of a push up slash uh, crunch routine where you do some crunches and some push ups. And the first round, they do it on their knees. Um, you do about 12 or 16 push ups, and then you go into what they call circle push ups. So you kind of go down and around, and then you do two push ups, and then you go back the other way and do that a few times. 
and then that's when you roll over onto your back, do some crunches, and then the second time you go around, you go ahead and do, uh, or they say if you're feeling you know, really good, then go ahead and do it on your toes rather than on your knees. And usually, I'll do the first round on my knees, and then the second round on my toes and just do as much as I can, but I don't get all the way through it like I want. So, uh, this today, what I actually did was both rounds, I did all the push-up sequences or routines on my knees. Um, that way, I can stick with it better and do all the reps, and eventually that's going to give you know build up the strength to the point where I can do all of it, you know, both rounds on my toes, and not have to take breaks as much. So you know, don't be afraid to modify, especially you know when it's come when it comes down to push-ups. Um, your chest is quite a big uh, a muscle group, so you really need to focus on it. Um, especially if you guys are doing like P90X, uh, the first routine that you do is your chest and back. So on your push-ups, you know, modify as much as you need to. And that's with, you know, anything else as well. With plyometrics or, uh, you know, even insanity, just listen to your body. Don't overdo it. You know, we've talked about this before, but modify as much as you need to. And like I said, you know, I, I modify, you know, when I need to or when I feel like I'm not getting as, uh, you know, pushing as hard as I can. So like today, I really just modified as much as I could and really pushed through it and I actually felt the burn more by sticking with it rather than doing a few reps on my toes and then having to take a little bit of a break and then going back and doing it. So it's great. Um, again, you know, I'm trying not to make these videos too long and it looks like we're at seven minutes again. So um, I apologize, but you know, again, I can't thank you guys enough for joining me on this uh, this journey that I'm taking and recording these logs and watching what I'm saying daily. Um, it really means a lot to me. It shows your guys' support and hopefully one day I can return the favor. You know, if you guys need some help, I will be more than happy to support you. So I'm gonna finish my results and recovery. Got it right here beside me. Get cleaned up for work and then I'm gonna go ahead and have a uh, mix up some pro oatmeal that we have in the nutrition guide. So you guys, thanks for watching. Keep it real. Stay with the fight. We'll see you next time.